The purpose of this video is to help explain Citrix Zen Desktop, and it's more specifically the Citrix Zen Desktop FlexCast Suite, which is a VDI solution, yes, but it's so much more than that. The FlexCast model allows us to do all kinds of application and desktop virtualization. Uh, we're going to try to explain how this applies to the Citrix Zen Desktop license uh, in the Enterprise Suite, the Platinum Suite, and the Citrix Workspace Suite. Zen Desktop FlexCast is part of all of those. Uh, the process we're going to take is we're going to whiteboard out each of the concepts, uh, and then we're going to demo each of the concepts. Uh, at the end of this, I hope you better understand how Citrix is bringing together all these technologies to deliver a very flexible, manageable, uh, usable solution that will allow you to better provide virtual desktops and virtual applications to your end users, leveraging the 25 years that Citrix has been working on all of these technologies and bringing them together all within one product set. One way to leverage Zen Desktop is for application virtualization. Uh, one technology or one technique from that is to use server-hosted shared application virtualization. And what that means is the application is in the data center being executed on a server operating system, physical machine, virtual machine, doesn't matter. Uh, it's hosted in the data center and being presented using the presentation layer of the OSI model to the endpoint device where it appears to be running locally but it's really executing back in the data center in a shared user operating system like a server operating system uh, and seamlessly delivering just the application without the desktop look and view.
One way to leverage Zen Desktop Flexcast is for desktop virtualization. In this case, server hosted shared desktop virtualization. So what this means is we're going to uh, execute a desktop user um, from the data center and we are going to present to the end user a desktop looking feel uh, on their endpoint device and it's going to be from a shared operating system. What this means, multiple users are simultaneously leveraging that operating system back in the data center, but each endpoint is getting its own unique desktop look and feel. Not truly unique, not truly isolated, but shared on a server operating system running back in the data center over a presentation layer protocol being presented to the endpoint device with the applications part of the desktop delivery model.
One way to leverage Citrix Zen Desktop Flexcast is to deliver application virtualization from a server operating system called Server Hosted Application Virtualization, where instead of being a multi-user operating system, you're still going to leverage a multi-user operating system like a server OS, but you're only going to allow one user to execute within that operating system at a time, and then have multiple instances of that uh, virtual machine running, uh, so that you get away from application conflicts that might exist when you're hosting multiple users within the same operating system. So in this case, server operating system, running in the data center, hosted, presented over the presentation layer ICA protocol, application running back on the server, but appears to be executing locally, uh, though it's being hosted on the server operating system with a single user at a time back in the data center. One way to leverage Citrix Zen Desktop Flexcast is for desktop virtualization, in this case, server-hosted desktop virtualization. The difference here is we're going to present the desktop look and feel from a hosted server operating system running back in the data center over ICA, uh, but we're going to do it from one user from each operating system, which gives us the ability to isolate our application workloads. So if we have ap application uh, conflicts, we can eliminate those and still deliver a desktop virtualization from a server operating system, which could be a shared operating system. But in this case, we're only allowing one user uh, per user kernel memory space uh, to avoid conflicts with other users or other applications that might be run. So in this case, presentation layer, complete desktop look and feel, with the application encapsulated within the desktop look and feel, so the user gets desktop virtualization from a server cost-affected operating system. One way to leverage Zen Desktop Flexcast is for application virtualization through VM-hosted application virtualization. This is very unique in the Citrix space or in the application virtualization space. What this is is using a client operating system that's being hosted somewhere in the data center and presenting the application look and feel from the data center hosted uh, session host so that the application appears seamlessly running on the endpoint device, but it's really hosted and executed within a client operating system back in the data center. The value in this is that the application is running on a true client operating system, possibly even a 32-bit operating system, and it's running completely isolated from other applications that might be executing on the hypervisor as well. So you get a very high degree of success rate with your application virtualization uh, because it's running in this fashion on a client operating system in the data center.
One way to leverage Zen Desktop Flexcast is for VM hosted desktop virtualization, also very well known as hosted VDI or just VDI. In this case, you're actually running individual operating systems on a hypervisor back in the data center where it's hosted and presenting the entire look and feel to the endpoint device so that the user gets a complete desktop experience from a client running in the data center with their applications available within that desktop look and feel. One way to leverage Zen Desktop Flexcast is to have users connect over ICA, over the presentation layer protocol from Citrix, to their physical PC that's back in the office. This means whether they're you know, down the hall in a meeting room, or they're working from home, or they're uh, you know, traveling on vacation or for business, they can use the ICA protocol to connect directly back in to their PC that's at the office, at their desk, up and running with their applications, their personalization settings already there, and they can remote back into that from any device that has the ability to run the Citrix receiver or an HTML5 client on it uh, and get access to their PC at any time and do real work from anywhere they need to be. One way to leverage Zen Desktop Flexcast is by using streamed, streaming VHD. And what this is, is when you take a physical computer, you capture the hard drive into the Citrix provisioning server. You can then remove the hard drive from the endpoint device. And at boot time, using a Pixie boot, you can actually stream the hard drive back to this machine so that it's booting from a gold image, centrally managed gold image. And the key here is you can turn around and take hundreds, if not thousands, of other machines and stream the hard drive to them as well. And you're getting locally executing desktop virtualization using virtualization technologies and management of the provisioning server back in the data center. One way to leverage Zen Desktop Flexcast is for local desktop virtualization, or what I often refer to as local VDI. And what this is is actually taking a PC piece of hardware and installing a Type 1 hypervisor on it, we call this the engine, and then taking VMs and allowing VMs to execute locally inside a virtual machine container uh, on top of the Type 1 hypervisor on a PC. Now you can also do that uh, with other types of hardware as well where you'd leverage a Type 2 hypervisor where the operating system runs inside a VM on top of a Type 2 hypervisor on top of the native operating system. For example, uh, BYOD type laptops, whether it's a PC or a Mac, or maybe even a Mac where you want to run on top of the native OS uh, a virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine. Now that's important and that's all good, but what really happens and the real power of this is when you take the synchronizer, which is the enterprise way of doing this, and you, you create or compose the VM back here, and then you take this VM and you actually deliver it to these various technologies so that one Windows VM managed by the organization can execute on top of a Type 1 hypervisor or a Type 2 hypervisor in various scenarios. Now that's most of what goes on. The other part that's important is this synchronizer has policy capabilities where it can actually control the endpoint hardware in such a way that it controls the, the ports and the peripherals, uh, how it runs, how it executes. That's really the enterprise magic in this is the ability to take that VM, deliver it to multiple different types of machines, even you know, non-company-owned machines, and control those machines at the policy level using the synchronizer back in the data center. In conclusion, Hopefully this video is going to help you better understand Citrix Zen Desktop, specifically the Zen Desktop Flexcast Suite, and all the different technologies Citrix is bringing together with 25 years of history of the company so that you can better deliver applications and desktops virtually to your end users to help enable them to get their job done.